verdict is in. Um, we go in. We're gonna take a, a trip. Um, my favorite piece of shit to the station. Okay. Um, you're gonna go investigations, and you're gonna have a talk with Miss Miller. Okay. Okay. Beautiful. Alrighty, Miss Miller. User has moved out of your account. You were moved. Can you hear me okay? Mm-hmm. Alright, and I can hear you just fine, so perfect. Alrighty, um, why don't you go I does he have you come to the desk or mm -hmm. Okay. Well if you want, go ahead and take a seat. If not, you know, you can lean. I don't really mind either way. My name is Detective Winters with the LSPD. I am the detective supervisor for the division. Uh, if you could just state your name and date of birth for me real quick. My name is Tyler Miller. Alrighty. My date of birth is 11-21-2000. Alrighty, and for the purpose of the tape, I'm just going to let you know now that you have the right to remain silent. Oh, Anything you say or do can be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, it will be provided to you by the state of San Andreas. You understand your rights as I have read them to you? Yes. And with those rights in mind, do you wish to speak to me? Sure. Alrighty, beautiful. So, I'm just here to have a little bit of a conversation and try and understand a few things because there are a few things that raise some concerns for us, but, you know, we don't like to go assuming things. And you don't seem like anybody I would take for, you know, the type to do anything, you know, crazy or, you know, wild, so I'm just trying to understand some things. So you think you could help me understand a few things? We just have a little chat. Okay. Alrighty, awesome. So, well, why don't you just run down for me? What have you been up to the past hour or two before you got here? Just start from, you know, your day in Legion Square and what you're doing down there and go from there. Like, what were your plans for the day? What? There you go. What the hell? Muscle spasm? Yeah. Okay. What's your question? I said, can you just describe what you were doing um, before, you know, getting here, like the past two, three hours in Legion Square? Um, I was just walking down in Legion Square, just chilling out after a drive. I went out for a walk. I got some coffee, and then I went back to Legion Square. Alrighty, and did you talk to anybody today? I talked to a few people about kind of like, you know, how's your day going and stuff. One person upset me a little bit, so I was like, you know, hot. So. I'm sorry, can you say that last part for me one more time? I didn't quite hear you. You said they upset you? How did they upset you? Because I asked them how the day was and they said, fuck you. So I said, fuck you back. And it kind of upset me. All right, was this anybody you had ever met before? No, I had no clue who it was. It was some random person. I was trying to be nice people. All righty, and 
you said that occurred where? Like, where were you in walking around? Square. Okay, you're uh, just walking around. the middle of it. Kind yeah. of towards the coffee shop area. Alrighty, and... So you said this kind of got you riled up. You know, did just you say... Just a little bit upset. So yeah. I said, you know what, fuck you too, and I walked away. And then, well, I heard a bunch of sirens and stuff, so I kind of started walking away. I went and got some coffee, and then I walked back and the guy stopped me. Alrighty, and you wouldn't say, you know, that this altercation was enough to upset you to, you know, maybe threaten somebody to back off or something, or they didn't try to follow you or anything? Said, Fuck you, and left. Okay. So, I mean, it depends on, depends on how well the person is, like, you know, when it comes to that kind of stuff. Because hmm. people can say fuck you in a bunch of different ways, obviously. Of course. So, uh, walk me through. So, if you were, so what are you said your plans were for the day? Like, where were you going or planning on heading after Absolutely. you left Legion? Absolutely. I was planning on going nowhere. Besides, well, after the walk, I was gonna go to the. LTD and then head to my house and go to sleep because it was starting to get late and you know yeah you say you live on Grove Street? yeah oh okay I'm familiar I got family in the area we're about like the cul-de-sac or a little ways down or I mean, like, I live in, like, the good area of Grove, not, like, where all the gang stuff happens, but, like, you know. Oh, okay, so more towards the, like, you know, the, like, 90-82 side, like, mm -hmm. the rolling 80s, yeah. Alrighty, so, you said you had no plans but to, you know, head to the LTD and then go home. So, I, we did find something in your belongings that was a bit unusual to us that I just want you to basically explain what the um contents of that were because again we're not here to make assumptions we're trying to figure things mm. out so there was a uh, you know a couple of pictures and uh, some pieces of hair do you mind explaining where that came from or what was you know were, what what do those oh, pieces the pictures mean? found in my sleep Oh, that was a group mm. of my friends and I. We were just chilling out at the cave, up in uh, up near the uh, up in uh, Dick County. Alrighty, uh, whereabouts in the county? Um, you know where that like uh, abandoned cave, mine shaft thing is. We were up yeah. there just relaxing. Obviously, it's illegal, but you know, oh well. Alrighty, um, then what was the, what was the hair? Is it your hair, or is it somebody else's, or? No, that's my friend's. Okay, you just keep your friend's hair lying around? I mean, you, pardon no, me, but you can... No, she tripped and fell, and her hair fell. She what, I'm sorry? I interrupted you, my bad. It's okay, uh, no, she tripped and fell, and we had scissors, and, uh, she wasn't holding the scissors properly, so some of her hair got chopped off. So we decided just to cut it short then, because it was long hair, and like part of it got cut off, and it was uneven. So we just were stupid and you know had a little bit of fun and just cut the rest of the hair off, honestly. Alrighty. So, sit tight with me. I'm gonna go take care of a few things, and I'm gonna come back, and then we'll see if we can, what we can do about getting you out of here. Oh, yeah. Because I'm kind of tired, so, you know. Alrighty, yeah. Appreciate your time.
Okay, you thinking what I'm thinking? You've been listening to all of this? Did I already call that woman right? Yeah, I think she's just a kid. I think she's just kind of... Either a lie or a weird out there. The only thing she says that it somewhat unnerves me is the fact that she lives on Grove. She doesn't. She doesn't? According to her information in the chat, it's 8122 Intervention Court, which is over by the beach in the department. The and fuck? She does, and she does have a bit of a history in the back. Yeah, because that's what I... I mean, there were things that didn't add up, but I don't... I can try and work her, but I don't oh. think there's anything I can exactly weave. I mean, you're the detective here. I'm just giving you the information I have. Mm -hmm. So, we also have uh, a prior arrest. She's a felon. Um, oh, what for? 35 okay. plus. False information as a government employee and public endangerment. Gotcha. So, known history of lying to us. Things okay. This is starting to make things a little sketchy. I'm gonna talk to her about the address thing. See if I can figure that out. Oh, if but, you want me to do that, like I said, we're calling yeah. you're the one running the investigation. I'm gonna also look up and see how felons with the plate are. Yeah. Legally or not. I'm gonna see how much give she gives me. If she doesn't give me enough give, I'm just going to cut her loose because if she's not going to cooperate with me, then she, we're not going to get what we need. Right. Like I said, I don't know. Just... Something's not adding up here. Okay. These doors are really heavy, Christ. There we go, Jesus. Heavy door. Alrighty, so... You remember how we were talking earlier? And I told you that I wanted to make sure we clear things up and, you know... I don't want to make this any more difficult for you than it needs to be. Okay. So, uh, level with me real quick. So, you said you live on Grove Street, right? Or n around that right. area? Because my, my, my other house right now is currently under construction. But, um, currently right now I'm renting a house down in Grove. So... Technically, my actual house is down in number one. Whereabouts, roughly? What did you say? I said, whereabouts, roughly? I'm the... Where, like, I used to live or where I live now? Mm-hmm. That... What? Hmm? Pardon? I said where I live now, or where, like, my house under construction is. The one under construction, like, whereabouts oh, is okay, in Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's uh, up at the 8122 area, around there. It's, um, yeah. Okay. So you've been renting down in Grove for a little while, um... Yeah, because my other house is currently under construction because we had flooding issues, so... I see, and you, um, uh... You haven't had any issues with your, uh, new neighbors lately, have you? No. No? Nobody that sticks out? No particular... Honestly, I tend... It, it was, like, the cheapest place to rent, mm -hmm. but not the best area, so I tend to ignore people down there and just go on my own level. Okay. 
Okay, well. I just found it odd because I thought, you know, I would think you'd mention something like that if it was, you know, something that could come up or whatever. Not the biggest deal in the world, but... I know, I don't think I had to bring it up, honestly. Because, well, technically I am living down in Grove right now because my other house is, can't even walk inside without getting into the water. Mm-hmm. Alrighty. Well, at this time... I'm gonna get you on cut from there, and I guess I'll get you down to holding, and I'll ask what the primary officer wants to do from there. But as far as anything further than what they told you when they took you down here, I'm not. We're not going anything any further than that. Sounds good. All right. Nice saw me out this way. Um, Mickey, which way is holding? This way? You're good to release for a few minutes. Holding on, though. What'd you say, sorry? Are you holding on, though? No, are you? Nope. I was gonna ask you about that. Okay. Then, then cut her loose. She's good to go as of now. She's Alrighty. wanted me to bring her down for you to have a conversation. You don't have nothing. Right. I don't have nothing. I didn't know if you had anything with the knife or anything. I didn't know what you were planning on doing. Okay. Alright, Miss Miller, at this time, you're going to be free to go. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to give me a call. Here is a card with my number on it. I would hand it to you if it would let me, if you know what I mean. But there you go. Um, actually, Miss Miller, I do have one question for you. What's up? Um, so, I've noticed we've been getting a lot of interaction with you, right? Uh, do you have anybody you maybe aggravated here in the last few days, weeks, months, anything like that that would want you to, you know, be having as much contact as possible. Just seems odd. I mean, once again, not accusing, not implying anything, but it just seems odd that we've had two calls about you brandishing a weapon and you have yet to shoot me. Personally, well, I don't know. I mean, with the whole brandishing a firearm thing, I did flip a person off, so that could be it. And then the thing, it could have just been me yelling at the person because, well, they did upset me a bit because, you know, I was trying to be nice, you know, brightening up maybe somebody's day because, you know, having a bad day or something, but uh, clearly that didn't work. Okay, yeah, that's very possible. It's both of them explicitly said with a weapon, like, for example, the park one, he said, like, like I said, not accusing anything, but just from what we were told, this could be a miscommunication from the reporting party to the dispatcher to dispatch to us. We were just told that you no, were, no, you're all good. That you were I in mean, a, or walking around the square, mm -hmm. pointing a weapon at people and screaming at them. Mm -mm. So the only just, weapon I had on me at the time was a switchblade, which is legal, I believe. And if is. it wasn't, I'm sure I'd be arrested right now, so... It is legal. Um, there's nothing yeah, exactly. about you having a. Yeah. Person, 